Hello everyone. Welcome to this course on Evolved Packet Core EPC uh, for 4G LTE networks. Here are the course goals for this course. The aim is by the end of this course, you will have a deep understanding about the following topics in LTE. First, we'll start off by giving you a brief introduction of the EPC and LTE or 4G uh, as it's commonly known. Uh, we'll talk about the motivation for long-term evolution or LTE 4G networks. We will uh, talk about how is LTE different from older and other technologies. Uh, then we will take a look in uh, the evolution that's happening in LTE uh, and some of the uh, features uh, or enhancements uh, as they are known by 3GPB uh, in the LTE framework. Um, in the second section, we will start by giving uh, you an overview of the network architecture and uh, specifically this topic uh, or this section will be broken out in three uh, subsections. We will start off by talking about the EU-TRAN uh, architecture, which is the RAN architecture, uh, followed by the Evolved Packet Core, uh, which is the focus of this course. And towards the end, we will uh, talk about uh, the summary of the LT architecture, which will tie uh, together the EU-TRAN and the EPC piece. In the third section, we will take uh, a look at the different identifiers that are used in LTE. Uh, some of you may have already seen these identifiers. Uh, this is just a, a short list of the some of the identifiers that we are going to talk about. Uh, but the, the reason these are important is because uh, once we have a good understanding of these identifiers in LTE, it will really aid our understanding of the EPC uh, and the different message flows and the call flows that will be covered later in the course. So we will talk about uh, some of these uh, identifiers. This by no means is an exhaustive list. Uh, this is just for uh, um, this is just for a demonstration that these are some of the identifiers we're going to talk about. Uh, next, we'll move into the interfaces in LTEPC. In this section, we will talk about how the different network elements talk to each other and uh, the means uh, that they communicate with each other and we'll take a look at the interfaces in the whole uh, LTE EPC. Uh, followed by which we will talk about the LTE protocol stack. So we'll talk about how LTE is, um, how LTE network elements are built uh, based on the protocol uh, levels. And we will review the different protocols that are involved uh, in the LTE EPC as well as in EU TRAN. Then we'll move into a section which is called LTE QoS or quality of service. This, in this section, we will talk about the bearers in LTE. Uh, essentially, bearers are virtual connections in LTE. We will um, look into what different kinds of bearers are and what their purpose is. Um, then we will move on to a very important topic which is called traffic flow templates. And we will see how traffic flow templates are implemented in LTE and what the logic is behind implementing them. Uh, continuing with the course goals, um, in, in, uh, in this section on EPC core elements, we will take a deeper dive uh, into each of the network elements. Uh, we, as you may recall from the previous slide, we, we first give you an introduction then we build on some background knowledge, um, such as identifiers, bearers, QoS, and then we come back again uh, to the EPC core elements. And this time we take a deeper dive into each of these network elements so that we have a better understanding uh, given our background on what each of these elements is capable of doing and what their responsibilities and functions are. Uh, then we uh, will move into a very important aspect in LTE, which is called security in LTE. And namely, we'll talk about three important aspects of security. We will talk about authentication, we will talk about encryption, and we will talk about integrity. 
and uh, once we have the background knowledge then we will look at some wireshark logs from a real network and we will analyze and go through the call flow uh, of how these three important tasks in LD are uh, achieved. Given all the background information that we have acquired so far, we will proceed into the section which walks us through the LD UE attach call flow. Here we will review the different messages that, ha that happen between um, uh, the LTE device and the network um, in order to uh, provide service to the subscriber. Uh, once we have reviewed the message flow, uh, we will look at a real Wireshark log from a real network and we will um, take a deeper dive into each of those messages in Wireshark and um, uh, I'll be introducing the different information elements from each of those messages and we will spend uh, a lot of time on uh, becoming more familiar with those messages and uh, so that way you know it will build a solid foundation for LTEPC that will help you either design or troubleshoot EPC uh, depending on your objective. Uh, the last section of this course will uh, be on LTE roaming here uh, we will review the 3GPP and uh, GSMA based architectures uh, in LTE and we will talk about briefly the pros and cons of each of those um, architectures and what each of those uh, architectures entail in terms of challenges uh, for implementation. So I hope uh, the objectives or the course goals of uh, this course line up with your expectations and I look forward to seeing you in the first section on this course. Thank you.